If you're into kung fu, jiu-jitsu, and other iterations of the fast-paced action mixed with some sharp action, then chances are you're familiar with the name Doug Marqueda. The edged weapon combat specialist is known for his unique techniques of fighting styles and his love for sharp weapons that will kill. The martial arts specialist has impressed millions with his battlefield strategy from History Channel's hit reality TV show, Forged in Fire. Today, let's dig a little deeper and find out more about what he is up to nowadays and his net worth. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and be a part of our family by ringing the bell. Career in Martial Arts Although Doug Marqueda was born in the Philippines, he calls New York City his home where he was raised. At the age of eight, he began to show interest in martial arts, but it wasn't until 16 that he started his formal training. Following that, at age 25, he discovered his love for Filipino martial arts. Before being featured as a judge in the History Channel's Forged in Fire, Doug served in the US Air Force for eight years. While honing his skills as a Filipino martial artist, he pursued a career as a respiratory therapist for 20 years. On top of developing his Filipino martial arts style called Marqueda Kali, the artist also traveled to several parts of the US and foreign states, teaching first responders and military personnel the foundations of his art. This life experience led Doug to his core belief. It's not about how many you hurt, it's about how many you protect. This motto eventually evolved into Doug's famous catchphrase. It will keel, keep everyone alive. Weapon designing. While Doug is known for transcending martial arts techniques, he is also popularly recognized for designing his weapons. The fighter has developed several great knives, including Fox Knives in Italy and the Dart XT, which he co-designed with Lad Mandiola. He is also one of the masters to create DART, Direct Action Response Theory, a tiny curved knife that is quite portable to handle. His weapons have also been featured in movies, including Blade 300 and the Bourne series. Forged in Fire. One of the biggest reasons for Doug to land the role as a judge in the competition series Forged in Fire is his creativity in weapons. Doug, alongside Jay Nielsen and Dave Baker, judges and decides which contestant's weapon makes it to the final. To achieve an unbiased conclusion, Doug makes sure the weapons are portable so that the contestants would not exhaust themselves while carrying them. On May the 13th, 2020, on a special episode named Forged in Fire, Meet the Judges, the judges Jay Nielsen, Dave Baker and Doug Marqueda were asked questions from fans about their show, personal life and bladesmithing techniques. Apart from being a judge in Forged in Fire, Doug also runs three martial arts schools, two in New York and one located in Romania. Personal life. Doug has been keeping things low when it comes to his personal life. The martial artist has yet not revealed whether he is unmarried or is currently living with his wife. While he has an active social media account, his Instagram and Facebook profile is filled with his TV work and designs. In season four of the show, Doug suffered from an arm injury. The artist underwent minor surgery for his right arm. While the reason for his injury has not yet been disclosed, Doug took the news and updated his fans about it on his Facebook page. The surgery has prohibited him from performing his usual tasks as well. While the martial artist does make a good income designing weapons, his net worth is yet to be calculated. Who is your favorite from Forged in Fire? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.